All right, so um, the last thing that um, I want to show is that if we have our script working and it's pretty robust, let's look at how we can um, add this script, this object, very quickly as a custom user object so that whenever we are ready to use it again in another context, we can grab it from our tray. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste my object, so I have an isolated one down here. Um, if it's red, it's okay. And let's take this object, and we're going to go to Create User Object. And here, I'm going to say that the name of this is to Create Polylines on Surface. The nickname is like something like polylines on surf and the description is that this is going to conditionally create polylines on a surface and it returns a data tree okay once we've done that we can um, define what category, which is which tab here we're going to uh, store this on. So I'm going to, you can either choose one that you already have, or if you type in something, this will be your own, um, um, your own tab, right? So this will generate a new tab. I'll call this ML for Mode Lab. And then the subcategory is what these labels are called here. So I'm going to say that this falls under a tessellation logic. I'm going to put the panel selection to 1, and then you can choose the icon. Where do you want, uh, or what do you want the icon, which we see here, to look like? So um, if you click this, these are just variations, right? You can choose different color versions of what you have already. Um, you can also access all of the icon libraries for what already exists, or you can create your own icon. And um, if you look in the Assets folder that we shared with you, there's a little um, simple icon I made in Photoshop with just a little purple to white gradient and a grid of, um, of lines. This is the icon I want to be visible here. So I'm going to choose it, hit OK. Now it's um, shown here. And again, you can do variations on that if you want. I'm going to hit OK. And now this is on my Mode Lab tab under Tessellation. There's my create polylines on a surface object that I can um, put into any definition, right? No matter if I'm in this one or a new one, I can always use that object. This is a really powerful way to um, take what you've done once already and reuse it again elsewhere. The other great thing about this is that this object is stored on your hard drive and you can share it with your friends. So if you go to File Special Folders, user objects. Here is my create polylines on surface um, user object and you can just drag that onto the canvas in a, in, on a different computer or uh, on your coworkers computer and it will generate this tab, this sub tab, and this object and then they can use it. Right? So it gets really really useful uh, once you're able to create a robust scripted component in Python and then um, uh, save it as a custom user object. All right, so um, creating a custom user object is exactly what we just did. And um, again, we just did it through the drop-down menu. Uh, we went through this uh, user object properties um, set of options to define some more specifics about it. And again, um, we can define our own icon, which is a JPEG, and now it's stored in our uh, tray of objects to use inside of Grasshopper, and it is shareable.